everybody, welcome back to James Plays Gregory Horror Show. We went through pretty much the majority of the tutorial in that first video, and now we've got a little bit more freedom in what we're going to do. We are hearing some whispers, which is always good. They're not coming from anybody in particular, they're just quite possibly in our own head. Our mission today, we're going to go over to the blinking icon on the right side of the main floor, and we're also going to try to explore some other areas. Over where James is in the top left, that's the library. As you might be able to guess, that's a good source of books. Gregory is in the... Bath house sort of place, like a, a collective bath bathing area. I, I don't think I want to go there. Catherine's down, bottom right. We'll have to see what she's doing. I think she's currently in her room, that room being the nurse's office. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just go. Go see what Judgment! we can do. Do you know my name? Judgment! There's the greatest, more? greatest character. Hmm. Now that I look at you more closely, I see you've got an awful lot on your mind. If you ever want my help, just bring a symbol of your problem. Then I'll give you one of my special judgments. Judgment! So there's our clue for our objective here. Bring him a symbol of our problems. That goes on be sleeping. We won't bother him. But we can go into pretty much all the rooms on the main floor now. And here we have our first herb item. I'm going to hold on to that for just a little bit longer. Okay, nothing in there, yet something could be in there in the future. Still wanting to keep an eye on things. Do you see the icon has now changed to Judgment Boy's face? This is Catherine's room. Catherine's not in here at the moment. So my mistake, they are two different places. Got a bandage. And what's this? We got a dirty book. It's that kind of game, everybody. And there's blood on the ground. And I thought I just saw something else shining. Maybe that was just my imagination. Some pictures on the wall here of somebody we've not been properly introduced to yet. Files of blood. I really don't want to go into the library while James is there. But I'll grab this herb. And we can peek inside. Oh, out James comes. What oh. Are you doing? oh, well. <sighs> Let me see if I can collect stuff in here. I don't think he's going to stop us. But what will stop us is our storage on ourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and use an herb. We have room for four things. And as you can see, we have conditions there at the top. That's what I was talking about when it comes to status ailments. Tiredness, headache, nervousness, confusion, melancholy, darkness. In that order, they will get progressively worse as time goes on without sleep 
or if our mental health just drops that low. Or possibly other things will cause it. So I'll leave that herb there. I don't need that. But I want to just pick up a bunch of books. Gregory Exposed. We can go into first person view. That'll make it easier to see what items there are for us to pick up. There's Gregory. Should be everything. Oh, there's one more book, but I don't think I have a room for it. Oh, I do. Okay, I mis miscounted. Alright, so we'll leave the herb behind, because, you know, that way we know it's there. Can't get around Gregory's big butt. Check the map again. Catherine's in the kitchen. Judgment Boy's coming down the hall. Judgment Boy is... Cool. You know my name. We don't have to worry about him. So we'll go to our room. And we'll use this to store our books. Oh, whoops. See, there's quite a few to find, and then we can read them, and that will refill our mental health. It's a nice, relaxing time. And I think if we read so many books, it will increase our gauge. Right now, we're doing okay-ish, despite the, the voices. So we're not going to worry about that right now. There's a little bit of management to, to be aware of with stuff like that. I actually don't think I want to go that way. We'll go back around this way and explore a couple more rooms. This room right here is the Frog Fortune Teller. Character from the show actually save serves as Ribbit. as our save hub. You know what? Actually, yeah. Let's go ahead and do a proper hard save. Alright. See, we cannot go upstairs. See if we can talk to Judgment Boy. Catch up to him. Judgment! symbolizes our problem. I don't know what that could be, actually. Maybe we can keep up with him? don't think I got really any hints there. Jacuzzi! There's there's what they, they call it. There's a bottle. There's a book. Spring water. Don't think there's anything in any of these. Yeah. Lots of things that we can open, though, huh? I wonder why. Alright. So you see why I'd call this, like, a, a bathhouse? Like a... take a look at my inventory here. I got room for one more thing, so maybe I'll drop that book off. There's an herb there. Eh, yeah. Might as well fill up. Especially because I will not remember that's there. It's very cleverly hidden. That's a yellow herb. How about that? 
This is a great place. Keeping an eye on things. So it looks like for Catherine's schedule, she starts her mornings out in the nurse's office, then goes to the dining hall, and then we'll see what happens after that. I'll go back to my room, drop some stuff off. You may have caught a glimpse of a door there. I believe that's to the kitchen. We'll actually probably use that soon enough. All right, storage. Put that down. And then, let me see. I don't think I need the red handkerchief. It's just a thing. Don't want the yellow herb at the moment. And the spring waters, I'll hold on to, actually. The bandage I'll put down. And I'll use one of those green herbs right... Actually, no. Instead of using the herb, let's read a book. You see there's a lot of books, different collections. So like this magazine, we have number two of Syringe Monthly. But we don't have one or three yet. There we go. Mental gauge just got bigger. It's refilled. And I think... I'd have to double... Yeah, okay, that was def definitely causes time to pass. So, now Catherine's over there. Judgment Boy's hanging out in Judgment Boy's room, I guess. We will just try going around and not get caught by anybody that we don't want to be caught by. So we're still trying to figure out what a symbol of our problems would be. It might be the handkerchief, actually. Actually, no, it wouldn't be, because that wasn't a key item. Gregory's here, but Gregory's also not here. Welcome to Gregory's shop. This is the shop. The shop doesn't use money. It uses an exchange system, and each item has a... A value of stars. A star value. So let me see. We can get more books. Quite a few of them, actually. Some of them are sold out at the moment. But it seems like the minimum is two stars worth. Medicines. These will help us with the status ailments. One is two stars. Drinks. Energy drink. And I believe all these items are actually way better than the stuff that we can find. So it might be in our best interest, like if we get herbs, exchange them to get the stars and then use those to get like the better items. Sundries. And a battery that sold out and very expensive. Okay, so nothing there Please for us at the moment. Come again. And there should not be anything else to do in here. Just look around. Oh, yeah, there's, uh, that welcome mat's got blood all over it. And I don't think we... Oh, we can go in here. Okay. Always good to check then, huh? Got James's diary.
Gregory knew we were coming. How about that? Swipe this book. Gregory exposed number three. Don't think that's anything. And that's just where Gregory is. You know what? Let's peek at him while we're here. I wonder who he's talking about. <laughs> oh. Okay. So yeah, peeking, getting information like that, it's not the most thrilling and usually not the most useful. So, like I said, probably won't be doing that all the time. Just if I'm stuck. <gasps> okay, that's bad. Try to make sure, stay away from James there. I would love to just cut through the dining hall, but that's not going to work. So he gets to go the long way around and just keep an eye on things. Just make sure we know where people are that are dangerous. Storeroom, gonna snag this herb. Got an orange juice. And... Expired cheese! Beautiful. It's uh, exactly what I wanted. I'm going to use another herb just to top us off and get one extra slot there. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Seems like there's a draft going on in here as well. Now, it's really worth pointing out that the game did not look this good on the PS2. Being able to, like, upscale and get clearer things, like, I don't think you could really see these in the original, like, PS2 version, but these assets were there, apparently. Assets. Get get it. Alright. Clock is nothing. We better get out of here before Catherine comes around. Go to the Judgment Factory where Judgment Boy is. Judgment! And still nothing that symbolizes our problems. I'll leave that herb there, but what's this present? Banana. Okay. The Judgment Boy's room is very well decorated. <laughs> I don't think we'll be able to complete this. Maybe we'll get this from James, though. See, peeking and getting this stuff is just a lot of doing nothing. And was just doing it to make sure that we were safe from Catherine. 
And now I'll check this again. So she's just going around. That door is still locked. That door is still locked. Nothing in this little go there. Let's go to the lounge. There's a some sort of water or juice. There's an herb. And another book. I'll grab the book, but I'm gonna need to free up space again. If I use that. There we go. So now we got a banana peel as a key item. Syringe monthly number three. And all that's left is the nurse's station. There's a book there. First aid kit. Possibly two. I don't know if this is something that I can grab. No. Alright, what book is this? Syringe Monthly 1. Alright, I do kind of want that. Just take another look. Should be able to get to our room without encountering Catherine as long as she's still going around. This is not open. Actually, one other thing that I'm going to try doing. is we will peek at Judgment Boy while he's in the room here. Do you see I'm a little bit... a little bit confused. I'm also a little bit tired. Oh boy, okay, so now we are going to go all the way around. We'll drop our stuff off, maybe uh, get a sleep going. Okay, so there's the effects of tiredness going on. Possibly the next stage. No, just tiredness. Alright. Go ahead and... Hopefully we can sleep. We will... Put these here. I'm probably going to use those for like exchanging, getting some other items. And I don't know what the expired cheese is going to be for. Start another beautiful day after this. I'm not tired anymore. What's going on with my eyes? We have darkness, because it is in the middle of the night. That's what happens with darkness. It's, a, it's not a progressive condition like the other ones are. It happens during the, the late hours, and the booklet also says it happens when you're in the basement. So that's going to limit our vision. Just something to keep in mind. And, yeah, all right. See, very, very dark. C 
see if we can get anything from Gregory here. <laughs> I must oh, that's ask right. you to refrain from step. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I I got I saw the herb, I got greedy. Oh boy. That darkness is quite dark. I'm gonna go into the dining room and kitchen since I did not get a chance to do that yet for this uh, new section of the game. Got an apple juice. And it looks like there's something over on this end here. Scissor salad. Can see a little bit better in first person. Anyway, it may not seem like we've accomplished much. But we did get to explore. Figure out where the answer is not located. That door's locked. Alright, so we would not have been able to cut through. Ooh, okay. It's not always about getting souls being progress. Being able to explore, get items, and figure things out about the guests, and just not dying. Very useful stuff. Maybe Neko Zombies up. Yep. Let's go talk to Neko Zombie. Maybe we'll get get some help there. What do we have to give you? I can give you the scissor salad. Eat at my own risk, but uh, maybe you'll like it. Got an empty can. Is that a key item or an item item? Key item. Nope. Well, we'll hold on to it for now. I'm hungry. Yeah, you're always hungry. Uh, how about the apple? I'm hungry. I'll give you the apple. I'm not going to use it. Oh, okay. We got a really good herb there. Huh. Let's spy on Judgment Boy a little bit more. Judgment! Catherine's sleeping. Still nothing helpful there. Doors locked on that side. I mean, there aren't a lot of places that we can find ourselves. But we're looking for something that we can give Judgment Boy that's a symbol of our problems. That he can give us advice. Might as well grab this herb this time. If I can... If I can... There we go. I 
hope this doesn't make anybody nauseous. Characteristics of the TV fish. This is another character that's seen in this show. Viewer's own memory. Yep, that's that's right. That, none of that actually seems helpful at the moment. Is there anything else like that, though? Oops. Rules of tag. It's kind of a not-so-subtle hint on what to do when you're being chased by people. If you don't succeed the first time, try three times. Third time is always the charm. Okay. That's what we just read. I hope this isn't considered, like, a bunch of aimless wandering or anything like that, because there's still stuff happening. I'm getting information, I'm interacting with characters, I'm getting stuff, but we will go ahead and wrap up, go back to my room, hopefully start a fresh day in the morning there so we don't have the darkness going on. And maybe we'll do a little bit more reading there. Refill our gauge that way. We'll stick with the syringe monthlies. And this should also pass some time. Okay. Drop that red herb, and I'll hold on to the green herbs for now. Then one last thing. We'll take a look at our memos here, as you see. Now we've got some stuff getting filled out. I don't actually know what the colors mean. Green, yellow, red. Alright, so we're going to sleep, hopefully get a nice fresh day going on, and maybe we'll figure out more to do with Judgment Boy. There's those voices again. I'll see you next time. Love ya. Bye-bye.